How's it going guys? I'm back. Who would be number two? Um, I'm going to try to get these videos out a lot faster now, but I've just been trying to get everything written down. I mean like, write notes so I know what I'm meant to be recording and that. Just so <laughs> everything's a bit more prepared. But yeah, as you can see, next who to be? We're going to Giant Level 2013. In the blue square betting off now, still in England obviously. And this is the team I think you should be if you want to choose this one. Boston United. Um, I see they're only same professional at the moment on this game, but they used to be in League Two. I think the highest. I think they got to League One, the highest. But they they are a league team, and they should be back up there. It's going to be a challenge. Obviously, quite a big stadium considering uh, adequate training facilities. Um, obviously, it's going to take a lot of work. But if it's for the kind of people that like challenges, um, next one as you can see, this is the squad report. See that midfield is in need of more experienced faces. No targets identified, so you can just basically go off your own thing. Probably stick to stick to free transfers, just so you're not wasting some of the money you could put in your wage budget on buying players. For this level, it's not exactly necessary. Uh, Gary Silk is the person I'd put as your captain, just because he's quite a solid defender for this level. Um, Spencer Weir Daly is an adequate striker. You could probably get a better one. On the free transfer market, if you just have a look, um, scout, scout, always scout before you buy players for these kind of teams. Cause you never know. I mean, I've had some players that were looked on, like when you look at the stats, they were miles, but at the team that weren't getting it. Cause the players already had a maybe not as good stat wise, but they just played well with the rest of the players. So make sure you're scouting beforehand, guys. Um, season expectations. Budget of 5k and a wage budget of 5,310. That's if you reach the playoffs, obviously, so it'll get higher. I would probably go for a cheap promotion because they are a big club in relation to the league. The money is clearly there. I mean, 5,000 per week is more than enough for this kind of level. So the money is there to get yourself promoted. It's basically what you can do with it. This is the squad that it comes up straight away. Like, this is one. This is the squad that. Um, when you, obviously when you start the game this is what two is already in it. I wouldn't exactly change it at all. Um obviously I mean I would change it but this is, should be your base squad and if you sign say if you sign a CDM obviously put him in. Sign a new striker put him in. But this is should be the people that you want to be playing all the time. I I'd put a nuttle in every now and then just to get him just to I mean have a give away daily a rest. But yeah guys it's pretty simple on this team, I mean <laughs> It's a good squad already, so you don't need to mess about with it too much. Obviously, get to your play on playing style, whatever you prefer to do on the game. Um, this is what I mean by wage budget. You're safely 3,210, 3, I think, is there. Yeah. In. So, no worries at all. I wouldn't, I still wouldn't swap around the money. I mean, obviously, 5k, you can probably get a few, you can get five players without a K each. So, there's no need to mess about with this, especially if you want to get the club financially there so you get more money in the later seasons but yeah guys i think that's definitely definitely worth a try um so that has been boston united in blue square bet north i'm going to try to bring out two of these a week now until we go through all of the leagues so yeah guys thanks for watching and i'm going to try to get a free transfer now pretty soon see you all there